Becoming a social media influencer, it's a big goal for a lot of people, but as your followers increase, so does something else, your risk of being scammed. You just got busted. For what? Child luring, child grooming, conspiracy criminal act with a minor, using uh, the internet and an electronic device to lure a minor. This is Justin Payne. I'm an online vigilante pedophile hunter. He poses as an underage kid online. Good, how are you? Chats with hey. adults and then confronts them uh, on video. Yeah, okay, whatever. 12 turning 13. Buddy, I knew when I was talking to you. His confrontations, while not endorsed by police, have led to arrest and have also attracted a huge following. Across the platforms, maybe 300,000 altogether with everything combined. But the predator hunter recently became prey. It felt like somebody had like come into my home. It all started after a company reached out to him, offering him money if he ran their ads. The ultimate goal for a social media influencer. They sent him a zip file with the ad details. Everything looked legit and I downloaded it and I tried to extract uh, the files from the zip file and it just kept saying that there was an error that it just wasn't working. Then everything just kind of fell apart from there. Google was sending me all these messages to say that your two-step verification has been turned off, your password's been changed, your email's been changed. That so-called company also gained control of his YouTube channel and started posting new videos. They posted something related to like Bitcoin and online currency. It's all part of a rapidly growing scam, says Janita Panu, founder of Opia, a digital marketing agency. A lot of these scam artists are looking to get in contact with as many influencers as possible so that they can reach their followers. Targeting budding influencers in all sorts of ways. That may be a direct message that's come in asking you to click on a certain link. These scam artists are trying to create a sense of urgency so that they can get as much information as possible from our influencers and then tap into their account. Panu says people need to research all incoming requests. How old is their profile page? How long has it been around? And most importantly, are other relevant and affluent influencers already working with them? As for Payne, he worked with a cybersecurity expert and Google to gain back control of his accounts and learned a hard lesson, one he's now sharing to warn others. Number one is don't download things. Watch what they're downloading. I mean, even in the form of from a friend. Have an issue, story, or question you'd like us to look into? Reach out to us by visiting the Speaker's Corner tab on the City News website. Pat Taney, City News.